And I'll start off just by saying that I have very bullish views on AI, especially in the finance sector. So I've been working with AI a lot over the past about two and a half years. So ever since uh, GPT-4 came out, it's been tremendously useful and I've been a little bit nervous about it, or I should say not even a little bit like really nervous. It's probably one of my primary anxieties because I'm realizing just how much of the skill sets that I've been learning can be basically automated by AI and it's sort of a frightening thought. So I've been trying to get better with AI and use AI more so that rather than one of the people that gets caught with their head in the sand, I wanna be one of the people that can still be really economically valuable, even when the AI tools keep getting better and better and better. So if you have similar feelings to me about it, this might be something that you might wanna consider as a way to future-prove yourself a little bit. A pretty interesting opportunity has presented itself to the people that watch this channel and myself as well. This is specifically a certificate that you can put on your resume to get Columbia Business School on your resume through their executive education branch. And it's an AI for business finance certificate program. And they've actually given me a coupon code that my audience can use, which is the code Ryan, which can get $300 off. So basically the next cohort of this, and there will be cohorts after if you're watching this video in the future, but the next cohort is gonna run from July to September, starting July 14th. And there's basically an early window where you can get an even further discount. So if you register before June 16th, then you can get like a $200 uh, discount just from doing the early deadline. And then if you use the code Ryan, you get an additional 300. So that can bring it all the way down to 4,500. So it's eight weeks. They expect it to take about 10 hours per week. And the format is fully online. So you can just do it from wherever. And it's also self-paced. So let me tell you why I would take this program more seriously. So besides the skills that you're actually going to learn, I think a huge thing is just having that brand on your resume. And one thing that will be useful is that the barrier to entry should be pretty low because you're not going to have to know any coding skills in advance. And hopefully you will learn some coding as you go through this program. So one thing that I think really gives this program some legs is they have some big names that they use in terms of the actual speakers and presenters in this program. So you're going to see they have a ton of people through actually through Columbia. But in addition, they're going to have people from some of the top financial institutions teaching in this and from the top players in the AI space. So we're going to see people represented from Perplexity, which is one of the biggest AI companies right now. Obviously, OpenAI, the perhaps the biggest AI company. Google, with you know Gemini, perhaps the second biggest AI company. And then, in addition to that, we're going to see people from the largest financial institutions like BlackRock, Morgan Stanley, T. Rowe Price, Bank of America, you name it. So there's definitely some heavy hitters. Let's go over the curriculum so I can point out just how close a lot of this stuff is to what you might have seen in the past on my channel. So the certification is gonna be broken down into eight separate modules, and each one should represent a single week. The first one is just going to be an overall introduction week that just introduces to basic things like what are some of the different chatbots, what exactly is AI, machine learning, and generative AI, and then talking about some key trends and opportunities, which I'm guessing what this would be talking about is just the fact that like this is gonna be so massively used in finance and how that's gonna impact the jobs and the tools that you'll be using in those jobs. So the second module looks like it's going to basically start off as sort of an intro to Python for people who might not be really familiar with Python. So it's going to learn Python to analyze financial data, automate workflows, and integrate AI. So probably I would assume you're going to be connecting to some API. Yeah, there we go. AI automation with APIs. So probably pulling in this financial data for different companies and trying some things out with some of the basic Python libraries like Pandas, Matplotlib, Oh, and then even potentially integrating this data into Excel, stuff we've done. We've done a lot of this stuff on this channel. The third module is going to get into predictive analytics. So what, where would this be useful in this finance sector? I'll give you one super obvious, let's say a hedge fund strategy. So let's say we're going to trade based on a certain rule. Uh, when this happens, we want to make this trade. If the price of this 
stock goes up 1%, we want to buy. Let's say that's the rule. How would we know if that is something that could actually make money? Well, we can't really know, but we can get an idea of if it might work if we back test that trading model. So we're going to try to use past trends to predict future returns and then back test to see if that actually works. And then getting out of the hedge fund space, you could get into more like FP&A, you know, financial planning and analysis type roles or data analyst roles where you're looking at like workforce analytics. The next module is on advanced predictive analytics. So we can see them talking about decision trees and random forests for complex financial predictions. So I've been working on a project right now. This video should be out probably sometime after this one, but it's gonna be on how do we use these advanced AI applications to try to come up with some way to predict stock prices. And then see, can we build some bot that might actually be able to generate a profit. You know, I'm not actually sure how it's going to end up working, but I'm having fun in the process of actually learning about these things. Okay, so module five, simulations and optimization. So we see here, we're talking about portfolio optimization and some other things. This is something that we have covered so comprehensively on this channel. So I actually have a video that's all about using an AI spreadsheet software to do portfolio optimization. So if you're interested in that, I'll throw it in a card that pops up. And module six is about generative AI. So all about the LLMs. I'm guessing here is where you're gonna go into the different ones. So I actually have the pro subscriptions to ChatGPT, Gemini, and Claude. So I've been trying so many of these different LLMs and as they push different updates, I try different things to try to stay up to date with like what's the best LLM for each different thing. It's pretty amazing the work that they can do. And I'm sure by now you're probably pretty familiar with these LLMs, but this could be another way to get more experience with it. It also looks like instead of working in that interface where you're, you know, like where you're in the chat, where you chat with it um, in the box on the browser, you're probably gonna be using the API to actually interface with it, where you connect your API key to say OpenAI and then use a version or a model of ChatGPT to help you make decisions and stuff. Like here's a bullet point that sticks out to me. Build AI driven fraud detection, chatbots and classification systems. So this is one where you're probably going to connect it to the API, pass in data, and then it'll tell you for each case, is this legit or is this fraud? Let's say like some type of transaction. I have a cousin who's actually working on this like in real life where he's building uh, AI systems to determine if loan application should be granted or not. And he's pinging the open AI API to do that with Python. So module seven looks like it's just building off of all the other ones before it and getting into these more advanced AI applications and integration. So when you're going to actually connect, like I was talking about to that open AI API so that you can start passing in real data and having it make decisions based on that data or performing some type of analysis with that data. I like this one, automating financial data extraction for investment research. So what if you needed to find a certain field in from the 10K statements of 100 different companies? Well, you could potentially build a, a AI application where you pass all their PDFs of their financial statements into OpenAI's API and have it report that information back to you once it's got it or extracted it from the file. And then here we see in module eight just seems to be capping up all the rest of the modules. So AI tools for business and finance, just looking at some of the latest tools. The crazy thing about this, as far as like these different AI models and these LLMs and chatbots and stuff is which one is the best one is like constantly changing. I don't know if you guys ever seen that leaderboard where it tells you which one's the best one. I check this all the time, this hugging face chatbot arena leaderboard. And so actually in the lead for a while, I know Gemini had a bad reputation initially, but it's been keeping the lead for quite some time. And then we get down to, you know, ChatGPT 03, then ChatGPT 40. But these things are constantly changing. And that's why I subscribe to like three, like the pro version of three different ones. There's also places on the internet where you can actually bet on which one you think is going to rank number one here. Let's say in like June or July or August or something. I do think that this is a really good opportunity for people, especially if you're trying to future-proof yourself against AI. 
you can find this page that I've been showing in this video by using the link in the pinned comment or the description. And remember that you can use code Ryan to get $300 off. And I hope if you do sign up for this that you feel like you get a lot of value out of it and it helps you to work more efficiently as I know these tools have made my efficiency just skyrocket.